Kariwa Youth Movement, National Coalition of Student Council, addressed by Comrade Mujahid Tribo, the National Chairman of the Council, today being date 11th May 2023 at the National Secretariat Abuja. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been necessary for us to lend our voices and support to the lingering issues about the selection of the next speaker of the 10th Assembly. We are here today to express our gratitude to Almighty Allah for preserving Nigeria as one indivisible country, despite various storms and tide against our smooth cells to greater and glorious Nigeria. However, May 29, 2003 inauguration ceremony is sacrosanct. We believe the APC leadership will not disappoint Nigerians. Given the fact that the country has for the very first time witnessed an efficient serious developmental strait across sectors. Therefore, it is the prime duty of every member of this great party to ensure that only credible leadership emerged. As a people, for us to achieve, we must show commitment and have forfeited powerfully of determined unity and fraternity, regardless of our intra-party interest, and you endlessly endorse the candidature of Honorable Mukhtar Aliu Betara, OON, as our Honorable Speaker of the 10th Assembly. God's will. For there can be no satisfactory alternative or substituted for Honorable Mukhtar Aliu Betara, OON, we are therefore calling on our members of the party and members, honorable members elected of the Federal House of Representatives to see Honorable Mukhtar Ali Betara OON as a that unified and bridge builder that will offer better service to the party and the country in general. It is given the if given the opportunity, his emergence will not only guarantee a sustainable, lasting peace and unity, building a better APC and the country at large. We must emphatically at this point made it clear that we are not out to defect or malign any interest but to show the incredible leadership qualities of Honorable Mukhtar Ayu Betara OON and how he is going to unite the party at the best of his ability short and stable short and stabilizing and containing the intra-party disequilibrium for equality and progress and development of the country at large. Honorable, Ali Ube, Honorable Mukhtar Ali Betara OON has served in various committees in the 6th Assembly, the 7th Assembly, the 8th Assembly, and the Ninth Assembly respectively. <laughs> Such, he is the most qualified candidate to be given the mandate to lead and serve in the best of his ability in the 10th assembly, God's willing. The National Working Committee can also endorse, but that does not make it a policy that their endorsement remain final. It has been a tradition or norms of uh, our system in this country of which we need to work it out in order to get it right, that the president get it all. Yes, it is a tradition that the policy of every leadership wants a cabinet that will support his administration in order to achieve in every sector in terms of developmental policies. Now, yesterday, if you are following the news, you will see the coalition of the aspirants for speakership. They were with the national chairman yesterday and this registered their complaint and uh, the national chairman promised to attend to that complaint of which we still envision that the national leadership will do justice to contain that excesses so that at least people will be given rights to exercise their franchise our candidates 
is not just a candidate that is representing a zone. He's a national candidate. Among all the candidates, he is one person that believes in national cohesion. And this is what we need in this country at this material time when we are faced with a lot of disunity in the country. We need a leadership that will come and will extend its hands of fellowship and recognize everybody all and sundry in a manner in which the nation will understand that this person is no longer coming in a particular geopolitical zone, but rather this person is one person that is ready to unify the country in every aspect. Honorable Betara is one person, one of its kind, that we believe not even only serving his constituents, he has established a good working relationship, not only in his constituency across the states, but across the zone and respectively in the whole of the country. He is a one person who is empowering the youth, women, girls, child education and what have you. Not even only sponsoring the bills in the National Assembly, he has do so much programs empowering the youth and the students, not even only his constituency, there are a lot of beneficiaries of his scholarship programs, skill acquisition. He built so many platforms, so many hospitals, so many roads that linked to the, his constituents in the three local government he's representing. And as well as his good working relationship, he served in the sixth assembly, the seventh assembly, the eighth, the ninth, and this tenth, God's willing. So that is why we feel it is he's the right person to be given this mandate. And that's why we are calling on the members elect to check the good track records of our principal. His good track records in the National Assembly. He has served in different committees, in different capacities, and he, ha he has delivered. That is why today we are even calling him the head boy of the National Assembly. So we believe when giving him this opportunity, not even uniting the party members, but as well as the unity of the country, which is very important.